replica guns and blank guns. Why in the world are we talking about that? At Gun Talk Media, we cover real guns most of the time. <laughs> but we had the guys from Replica Weaponry reach out and said, you ought to check out what we do. It's kind of neat. And so we started talking and thought, you know what? Send us some stuff. Maybe we'll do something with it. So we have a variety of stuff from Replica Weaponry and wanted to just kind of walk you through it. Now, first off, I know you're looking at the Tommy gun sitting on the table, right? Comes with a drum magazine, but this looks the part, it feels the part. One of the things that I love about Tommy guns is the weight. They're so solid. I mean, this is like nine and a half pounds, but when you pick it up, it feels like a Tommy gun, it looks like a Tommy gun, but I'm no expert. So we brought in our friend Dan, who is a Tommy gun aficionado. The detail is actually quite fine. You'll notice there's some knurling on the cocking handle, which would have been found on an early 1928 gun. The World War II guns did away with that as they became uh, more rapidly manufactured. It cocks and fires from an open bolt if it fired, just like a, an original Thompson. It's kind of neat. They, they actually use a replica Lyman ladder sight that you can raise up and see through the peep. Now the ladder doesn't move, but you know, it's the attention to detail is, is fairly decent. You know, the, the original came with a similar ladder sight. Of course, the, when you lift it up, the ladder moves up and down. I think they did a pretty decent job for a replica and it's metal, it's heavy. With an original, which are perfectly legal to own and, and many people own, own these guns, your first obstacle is price. They probably started a low of about $15,000 and go up to fifty dollars or $60,000 depending on the, the history and depending on the model because there are a number of different models of Thompsons over the years. Yeah, so the bolt runs, the magazine comes in and out. It really looks the part and feels the part. And the thing is, a real Tommy gun, you can buy one but it's pretty expensive and it takes a little while and it's probably not something that you're gonna hang out on the wall out in the open. But why would you get this? Under 200 bucks, yeah, you can make it a wall hanger, you can put it in the corner of your living room or your office and kind of make it a conversation piece. It's kind of neat. We have a variety of blank guns here, so we're going to run you through these and kind of show you the interesting parts about it. Starting off with revolver. It, these are actually operating guns, okay? They open, they close, they eject. And this is a nine millimeter and it uses nine millimeter blanks. So obviously they, people use this for TV shows, they use it for theater performances, um, movies, all that type of stuff. But these are a little bit different. Obviously there's no projectile, but they also have to not be able to fire real rounds. So there's some safety concerns there. There's a couple different types of blank guns. You have what we have here, we've got Front venting and top venting. What's the difference? I'm gonna show you. So I know what you're thinking. Why does he have eyes and ears on? These aren't even real guns. Well, they're blank guns. We got them in the office the other day and I was a little bit excited about trying it out and see what it sounded like. A blank gun from Replica Weaponry in the office. Safety first. Oh, wow. oh, oh, oh. Oh, damn, that's loud. Ow. Should have worn hearing protection. Let's go tell the neighbors that wasn't a real gun. Oh. So yes, today I'm wearing hearing protection. Okay, they're loud. So let's just show you the difference between front venting and top venting. Now you may have heard about some snafus in the movie industry um, where people get injured with using a blank gun. And one of the safety measures is having it top venting. So you can actually get close to people and, and, uh, and shoot. Now this is a front venting gun, okay? Let's see what this does 
on this piece of paper right here. Yeah, there's a hole there. <laughs> so you wouldn't obviously want to put this close to someone and shoot it, even if it is a blank gun, shooting blanks. Okay, this one is top venting. So when I shoot it in the front, nothing should happen. And that sucker was loud, it had some power, but nothing happened coming out of the front, which is awesome. That's a nice safety feature. Now at the top venting, let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, baby, there is still some power there. Blank guns, what's the deal with them? Why would you use them? Well, we shoot first person defender and we're gonna use these because this has a real look and a real sound and is great for training. So there's a lot of trainers around there that use this stuff. You also have movies, TV shows, that type of thing. But it could be a way to get people used to shooting and practicing with something that's not a real gun. So there's a bit of safety involved in this. Um, you could get used to holding it, firing it, it makes noise, the, the slide reciprocates, all that stuff. Now, just for fun, let's load up a mag and let's dump it. All right, let's do a mag dump in the studio. It'll be fun. Woo! Get some flash from it too. <laughs> Replica guns, blank guns, can be a lot of fun. I know we've been having fun with them, but we wanted to just educate you a little bit about them. Still, safety rules still apply. I wouldn't mess around and pretend to, you know, point these at my buddy's head. Safety first, always. So they have a lot of fun stuff at Replica Weaponry. We have a link below. Click through, check them out. I think you're gonna find something you like.